Hey, look, there's Randy. Randy's riding. Oh, yeah. Rich is painting. Let's go see what's up with them. Oh, Dad. Here's the way that he wanted to look at uh, my bike. Oh, cool. So. I'm going to go look for mail. Go check them out. You can turn around. I'm in no rush, girl. I totally get it, man. New bike, new problems. Sit here and watch me unbox them. All right. All right. So I uh, recently got back into BMX bikes and riding bikes. And uh, if you don't know, you, you don't. Of course, you don't know. Like I, I work in a uh, tech industry, and so most of my day is spent typing on a laptop. So my hands not conditioned for BMX whatsoever. Um, and it's been cold. I'm air quoting cold because I live in Arizona. So when I say it's cold, um, it's like 60, 50. I know, I'm waiting for the eye roll. But to me, it's cold and hurts my hands. So uh, I decided to buy some gloves. So I was looking up uh, BMX gloves and um, we found um, Crushed MX. And I thought, I just thought they looked cool. Literally the only thing I was like, yeah, that looks pretty cool. Um, in the 80s, I remember I really only had some Haro gloves that were, um, they were like suede on the bottom of your hand. <laughs> so they basically had the cutout of your hand on top, the cutout of your hand on the bottom. In between, it was like an elastic and it had these like foam Haro chevrons down the knuckles and everything. They looked cool. Um, I guess they, they kept my hands okay because it's leather and you, you fall. I'm not really looking for a whole lot of safety protection or anything like that. I just wanted something that's going to hold uh, the sweat in my hands because, again, it's Phoenix and I plan to ride when it's hot. So, main thing I was looking for, I found crushed MX gloves. Um, and I wanted to give them a try. And ironically, they had a huge, I, to me, it's a huge sale over the holidays because they were five bucks instead of like thirty dollars which is kind of their normal price so um, I didn't know the sizing so I bought two pairs uh, and because it was a sale they didn't have really a whole lot in stock so I have a uh, two sizes in whatever they had available in my sizes so we're gonna unbox this packaging pretty cool um, thought it was a Tiffany ring at first Did you know that girl? I'm talking to my daughter, she's here with me. This is the same color as like Tiffany, so if mom would have opened this, she would have thought dad bought her something expensive instead of something cheap for myself. So I'm glad we got this and mom didn't. All right, so I've got two bags in here. And 
empty bag. Okay. Now, I only paid like ten dollars for both of these, so I expect n nothing in my bag as far as stickers and stuff like that. Um, it looks like they do have some stickers attached to the gloves. Uh, first pair is the large, how the crushed MX stole Christmas gloves. Um, kind of a play on a popular movie. And we'll try the large on first. These have the strap on the bottom. Here. Now they, they mentioned this quite a bit in their, their descriptions, comfort strap or no comfort strap. Uh, I had no idea if I would like that or not, so I just bought one. So, trying it on. This is the large, and large seems to fit about perfect. Okay, so I'm going to answer a lot of the questions I had when I was looking at their website. Um, you got the graphic on the outside. Very comfortable. The thumb is a little large. You, I've seen that on everyone's mention. The thumb is just a little bit too long. Um, but that's not going to affect writing at all. So uh, I kind of like that because then it's easier for them to produce a lot of gloves. Uh, because really, the two fingers are the only thing that I'm going to be coming in contact with that I like to feel. The rest is just going to be because of the brakes. Um, the rest is just for padding and, and comfort. So um, there's some holes in the, the, he in the, the heel, the palm of your wrist. There is some extra material over the thumb. Now granted, these are made for motocross bikes, not for BMX bikes, so um, I feel like they do put a little bit more into it. So this is gonna protect around when you're gripping. You, uh, you've got the crushed logo on the bottom. Now that's not, it's, it's printed, but it's a rubberish neoprene type uh, puffy paint. Um, so that's going to add some some grip there as well as um, The decoration on the fingers is also that same Grip which is also the, the fingers I would grab a brake lever with so um, very comfortable very it's um, Doesn't really feel like you're wearing a glove at all the lightness of it um, just comfortable like, totally comfortable So that is the large crushed MX Grinch soul Christmas and I'm not going to take this one out yet because it's the same exact thing, only the other hand. Now, the other ones I got were the Sunset. I love this color, um, but it is too big for my hand, so I will probably do something with these. Give them to a friend. Um, I'm not going to return them because for $5, um, it seems kind of pointless. Uh, same, I like the styling on this, same thing. The puffy paint grippy on the bottom and then on the fingers. Now let's take a look at the size difference between a large and an extra large. It's not much. In fact, I would say they fit pretty close to the same. Um, and it could be I just pulled this one tighter when I pulled it down because in my head I knew it was an extra large so I pulled it closer and then made this a little tighter than it needed to be. But I would say I could rock these pretty easily, um, which I was not expecting to tell you this when I opened that bag just now. I thought these would be too big. Um, the thumb feels about the same. Actually, it probably fits a little better. Um, but So what you're gonna get, printed outer, pr uh, puffy paint, grippy inner, grippy, grippy. You're gonna have the the thumb support. It's not support. It's uh, extra material to, to keep the neoprene. I don't even know if that's neoprene, but to keep to keep the thumb from wearing out. You'll have that leather pad, and then it has some some stretchy material in between the fingers. All in all, very comfortable. Um, cool brand. Um, it looks. I, I don't know if they know that they they are attracting uh, a lot of folks in the BMX world. But I support, I love small businesses. They appear to be a small business because of the, the run size and running out of product a lot, which is very common with supply chain and small companies. Um, but there's something about a small company because 
if you're supporting a small company in, a, in especially in a bike world um, you're supporting the innovation you're supporting their idea their dream and um, the quality control is going to be better because they're not making hundreds of thousands of product in another country and then drop shipping them to a warehouse and then out to your local shop um, odds are crushed MX people see this stuff in person they look at it they look at the quality and they can adjust that stuff I could be totally wrong but that's the vibe that I get from looking at their site they don't look like they're a huge company um, so check them out crushed MX you can google it I, I'll, I'll put the their website in the description um, but now we're gonna go ride our bike and kind of play with it a little bit you wanna ride bikes? Yeah. We're gonna go test. You wanna ride my other gloves? Oh, yeah. Let's see. My daughter's <laughs> gonna wear these ones. Alright. It's the same material. Alright, so my da my daughter, here we go, all this like this. Uh, I just let my daughter try out the gloves and she's putting them on. And she had actually a better explanation for the grippy part of the, the palm and on the fingers. So let me flip it around and we'll let her explain it to you because it made sense to me. What's on the bottom, Taryn? Um, so it's like this material that they put on the bottom of socks if you don't have any grippy socks for the trampoline park. Yep. So. That's exactly what it is. It's the grippy stuff that they put on the bottom of socks if you go to trampoline park. So if you've been there, you know what I'm talking about. That's what's on the bottom of your, the palm of your hand. So let's go ride. 